So as I'm working on my updated comparison of the best portable USB-C SSDs for the channel, I want to put custom images over the icons of the drives on my desktop and when they show up in Finder, just to take them away from that boring orange that you see in the top right hand corner into a custom one that is easy to identify and looks better on the desktop. So of course when I do this I want to get a PNG image so that it doesn't have a background and blends in better with my computer. And once I do that I'm supposed to be able to just go into the info setting of my drive by right clicking going into info and then just dragging and dropping the image. But you can see that just gives me this blank PNG image. So I'll do command Z to undo that and I'll do command C to copy it. I'll select the drive image and then go ahead and do edit paste to see if that works and it doesn't. It's actually an issue because the Mac wants an ICNS file type to change the desktop image. However, there's a fix to convert an image from PNG to ICNS, and you have to go into the Automator app and change up some settings. Or, as I just found, you can just download this file from this website and it will automate that for you. So you're going to want to go ahead and download this zipped file, unzip it, install it. For me, I already have it, so I'm just going to replace it and then it should download and be ready for you to use and you might have to go in and accept some touch bar permissions, not a big deal. So then you go back to your PNG file and you right click it and then you go down and you should see the convert PNG to ICNS. This will save a new ICNS file type to your desktop and then you can drag that over to your new icon and there you have it, a much more custom approach to your desktop, your hard drives, and really any other folder or icon that you want to change. Let me know what you think of this solution, and thanks for watching.